ladies and gentlemen, friends and family. We gather here today in memorial of the life of Mario and Sonic in the Olympic Games. An amazing person of which I had the privilege of having its company with me in the darkest times of my life. Yeah, Mario and Sonic are f***ing dead. This is a fact that kind of came out of nowhere for me, because a part of me definitely should feel the absence of a Mario and Sonic Olympic Games game in this Olympic season, but I just kind of didn't feel anything. I just kind of forgot that those games even existed. <laughs> because I've played these games, I've played them a bunch actually in my youth. But I, I mean, after I bought like two of those games, I kind of didn't anymore, because while I like Mario and Mario sports games in general, I mean, uh, it's Olympic. But the time that they just sort of gave up on making those cool, like cinematic, beautiful trailers that they used to do. I mean, I kind of lost interest. You know, the only time that I really got interested again was when the Olympics took place in my home country. I was like, oh my god, Mario! Mario is, is in Brazil. They sent Mario to Brazil. That was cool, but no, I didn't play the game. <laughs> I'm sure many people played all the games and were happy and all and it was a ton of fun and those are good games but maybe it was time for it to be over because at this point the games were just made by force because you just expected there to be a Mario and Sonic Olympic Games game every time the Olympics rolled around and, and those happen every four years so because I mean the first ones were more quaint in comparison the first one was cool because you know it was the first Mario and Sonic crossover and it was fun you know, like I said, we back then we had those cool cinematic trailers that were very well done. And we could see the characters really emote and being animated and being, you know, alive with each other, interacting with each other. And that's kind of a dream come true for someone that likes both of these franchises. Even for me, who's just a Mario fan and I don't like Sonic very much, sorry. Even for me, I was like, you know, that's that's cool. You know, Mario, Sonic, all those cool franchises, you know? Whoa, what? It was always very cool. And my favorite is definitely the the Olympic Winter Games, I forget which country it was, <laughs> but it was one that had a really, really beautiful cinematic trailer that by the end, Mario and Sonic just throw snow in <laughs> the bad guy's faces. <laughs> That's the thing that stands out the most for me, I guess. So that was cool. I played that a lot. It was a, it, it was a novelty. It was cool. Playing Mario sports games is always fun. I kind of like playing Mario Party, but kind of less cool because <laughs> sorry <laughs> i think the next one that i had was uh, the london one and i just remember that it was london because by the end we have mario and sonic and like the big ben i think just shaking hands and it was cute that's it <laughs> i think it was the big man but then after that i just stopped doing the the cinematic trailers and i kind of lost interest because of that especially because by the time we had the mario and sonic in brazil they didn't do a cinematic trailer and i was like are you kidding me in my home country they're just go not gonna do that are you serious and having that in brazil would have been so cool brazil is so beautiful just have mario and sonic in the beaches doing stuff and play football and you know doing brazil stuff and and then by the end they just shake hands in the in the christ and that's you know that's that would have been so cool i don't know Ugh. didn't play that game even though i don't know i feel like i should have even though it's a mario game set in brazil and they don't have portuguese subtitles <laughs> it's a problem but it's getting better but yeah after that there was another one right i don't know and i didn't really do <laughs> much research like i said it's sad that this era of games is over it's sad that we're not gonna have mario and sonic games anymore but I don't know, maybe it was time for it to end. Maybe the series was a bit saturated. I wouldn't complain if they had kept going instead of, I don't know, doing NFTs. Is that, is that what they're doing? Is that what the Olympics are doing? Really? <laughs> so I don't know, man. I guess I would have preferred to have the, the games keep going still instead of NFTs. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that, it's, that in itself is kind of sad. But then again, like I said, maybe it was time for them to go. I know it's sad. I know we're all gathered here today being sad that it's over, but we should be happy that it happened. We should be happy that this official Mario and Sonic crossover existed. We should be glad that these two very iconic gaming mascots came together, shook hands, and rode horses <laughs> and did Olympic stuff together. Olympic sports. 
Sorry, I don't want to be disrespectful. We should be glad that it happened. And we should remember the life of Mario and Sonic and the Olympic Games. We should remember the life of this beloved individual with care and love. And just hope that one day we're gonna have uh, maybe cooler... <laughs> maybe cooler crossover with these two. Yeah. That's it.